I can be done. I, I can mean, that be song's violent. Huh? That song's really good. I, know. I like that song. I can be purple. I can be anything you like. I can be hurtful. I can um, be purple. No, I can just be hurtful. I can be purple. Well, that means you're dead. I can be anything you like. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you, you say it like that? Yeah, what'd you say? What'd you... <laughs> I mean, it's in the song. You right. You right. Hey, quote it. Like You're it. the kind of guy who watches Dr. Pimple Popper, aren't you? Yes. Yeah, I knew it. Straight up. I knew it. What's wrong with that? Well, there's a lot of things wrong with that, first of all. What? Like what? I don't know. I don't like it. It's just, I mean, think about it. Like, you got a pimple and it's popped. Yeah, but she doesn't do normal pimples. She does all. She goes above and beyond. She does. Hey, she goes at, plus ultra. And the stuff. ones that came out in the trailer, it looked like she was popping water balloons. Yeah, they are, those. Are, okay, there are some. But let's good. start... Pull okay. that out the this, window. This <laughs> Get that out of here! Let, let's go! Welcome back to Anime Beyond. Today we're going to react to Dragon Quest episode 51. Now last episode, uh, Chu took a beating, and he, uh, he took one for the team. Um, but Baron came in clutch and saved the day with. Mm, didn't see that coming. Did not mm -hmm. see that coming, but I'm glad I didn't see that coming. Before that, Die in the game were recuperating and you know healing up and you know trying to plan the next move. Um, and then they find out that Chu was missing. But man, Gomi Chun, oh. that was crazy. Was Super Saiyan? Yes. Yeah, um, that's, see, that's why I'm wearing yellow today in honor of Gomi Chan. Bro, I, don't have I wish gold. it was gold. I know, I don't have it. I don't have that. But, but I don't want to take away from Gomi Chan. Uh, you know, he's, he's earned it. That was that was clutch. And now, going back to what you were saying, I'm thinking there might be something too. Maybe that Dragon Knight and Gomi Chan, maybe there's some connection there. I don't, I don't I'm know. I'm excited because we are saying that there's something to Gomi Chan. That we're going to be surprised. So I'm hey, looking forward to it. Yeah, I said we were close looking. about something too. So I'm wondering if maybe it was something about Baron. Oh, yeah. They could be something about Gomi-chan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope it's something about Gomi-chan. Maybe we'll be spoiled in the opening. No! Oh well. But then even it was weird to see that the Metara, the attack didn't work because Block took most. Oh, of the Oh yeah, attack. Block though. Yeah. Block came in clutch for them, and it was interesting that Hadler was like, "I'm just testing y'all. This was just a test trial. Y'all yes. come to the, the the field of death." Then we'll, then we'll fight. <laughs> Come to home court. <laughs> yeah, then we'll fight. Yeah. So that was that was crazy. But I'm looking forward to seeing what Dying the Gang is going to do now. Uh, is Baron now part of the team? Or is he going to be rogue? Like, we, like I said in the last episode. Um, is he going to be part of the gang? And then as far as Nova, what is he, oh, is yeah. he, is he going to be part of it too? And then Hadler and the, just the whole shebang. Like, I, I feel like this thing is about to explode out of control in a good way. Oh, yeah. So, uh, looking forward to see all that, but without further ado, we're going to get right into it. So, let's get it. The Avon Style Ultimate Technique. All right, Avon's going to be back. All right, so he's going to go ham in this episode. Okay. Is that uh, Hadler? Yeah. His body. Is he games? Yeah. He's still, uh. He's not immortal like he used to be. Hmm. Ready to risk it all. It's how, it's how it has to be. Oh, look, that's like the power level. The king's at the top. Yeah. Ah. So he's fighting like level two right now. Mm-hmm. That's right, baby. It's almost like a rival. Yeah. But in a weird, in a different way. 
Yeah. Oh, they're healed, actually. I just noticed that. Dang, they're loyal to them, though. How is he able to cry? Interesting. Oh, I found out. Oh, are they gonna meet Baron? Oh, they gotta find you, I think. Maybe Baron took him. Oh, he doesn't know. Oh, he doesn't. No pun intended. <laughs> hey, good eye. Oh, he's back. The the sound. It's got to be Miss uh, Kilvern. Oh. <laughs> the way he grabbed Magoichan. Wait, so you think it's Baron? Or you think it's uh, Kilvern? Huh? I think it's. I think it might be Kilvern. Oh, I lied. It's Baron. That's right. Nah, that's bad, bro. That's cool. Oh, yep. Nah, he really don't, but... Oh... Ooh. Dang. Okay, I thought he was just gonna one shot him. That's it. He uh, he pushed the die button. This is necessary. This is like when he's like, get out of here, and he's like letting his animal go. Go back to the wild. Get out of here. <laughs> Okay, that's true. Oh. That's not what it sounded like when he said that. He, he's, he's lying? He's, I think he's playing, not like playing, playing, but like putting up a... He don't want to be seen as weak. Yeah. Hmm. That's the point. Yeah, he's he's ready to risk it all. He's ready to risk it all. Oh, does he feel it? Oh, he did say only one Dragon Knight can live in this. That's true. 
さというならば私を放っておいた方が得策だろうなぜ止める一人に行けばお前が死ぬか俺にはそれが見過ごせいやバランサーとデイノーノーノーシーズンそれにこの技のおそろしさ。誰よりもバランがよくわかっている。This? The cross? He have a key or what? <laughs> Oh, he I see. Oh, now that makes sense. So it's... Hmm. Nice. That's kind of OP. They don't know about him? I want to see him just completely miss Yonko yeah, and go like, straight up to them. Yeah. I believe him. You believe him? He's gonna do it. But on does, he doesn't lie. He doesn't just lie. Mm. Maybe they're just gonna attack at the last second and stop him. Oh, she's gonna interfere. Whoa! This is cool. Crocodile. Oh, two. Wait, but what does she if, do? If if. With the Hyunko's mode, he can, he can let Baron counter. He could take it and then let Baron counter. Oh, that's true. Oh, 
あなたが気に入るわけですね。キンキオソルベキセンス。Arjun, he uncle do it himself. Dane. いなくなってよかった。言ってくれたのは。そうだ、ヒンケル。ヒンケルは。Got beat up. He's not dead, is he? Oh, Ultra Instinct? Wow, he took it all on himself? Before Baron could even attack. Oh, so he was already in motion. Yeah. Oh, so he still took Baron's. Oh, shoot. Hey. Blood. Mm. No, you don't think so? He didn't do it. Ah, it's, it's on Nova, right? He was there. Was he listening in? What about two dragon knights? Medora. That's true. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go, baby. It says to be continued right here. No, I don't want to They got at least some for next week. Oh. Dude, this episode was everything, first of all. Uh, Baron shows up. I thought it was going to be Kilvern. But it was yeah. Baron. It makes sense. It's the music. The it music. Makes sense. Yeah, the it's music. I did not expect them to duel. That, is, I would have looked so cool. And, but uh, what's her name? Ali, Ali Binas, the queen. Oh yeah. And she she messed it up. Damn. Oh uh, yeah, dude. I, that really. Annoyed that me. is crazy. So I'm wondering, is that attack? So it's like, auto, is that automatic? Like whenever you activate it, you can counter. Like you can dodge anything. Or you can take any blow, and then you can just counter. Is that like automatic, or is that like? Him, his doing. I don't know. Because I, I wonder how that attack works. Yeah, because when they showed it with the Vaughn, it looked like he a took, Vaughn took it. Like brute force. And, and it, like it didn't damage him. Yeah. But when it went with Hyunko, it looked like he was getting hit. And maybe it wasn't damaging him and it was just hitting the armor and stuff. So it's getting worn out there. I thought he was dodging. Was he? Well, he, he stood maybe. there and he yeah. was going like this. Like he was, like he was being shot. Yeah. But what I didn't realize at the time was that Baron's, his attack still hit him. Yeah. Man, Did, and he still was able to pull off his move. See, I'm get so it just it just hit Hyunko. It didn't hit Baronite at all because it, he didn't have any. It seems like Hyunko was able to somehow direct, or maybe the aura of Baron could just completely maybe, disintegrate. That's maybe true. that's what it was too, because he went all in. He literally went all in on it. But man, I don't know if I believe that whole thing where he's not gonna be able to fight again. Yeah, I don't think so. We, I mean, we saw the title. Uh, we saw the yeah, we saw the opening. Yeah, don't, don't, don't do it. I mean, you can do what you want, but yeah, you um, I was looking forward to seeing uh, Baron go after her and uh, the pawn, him, because mm. 
they were trying yeah. to, they, they looked like they were going to try to sabotage him. Or I thought what was, what was going to happen was he was going to act like he was going to hit Hyunko and then dart towards them. Kind of like, got you, you know? Yeah. Um, you know what that makes me think of, though? It's, you know, you'll have these animes where the, like the, the old guy, the main character, the guy who's been doing it for a while, sometimes they're just they can dodge without noticing or mm -hmm. you know without even without even you realizing that someone's there like they'll dive and whatever but also it seems like when someone gets older and they're out of trying to improve anymore they're no longer trying to surpass their limits then they kind of get stagnant yeah which is kind of what we saw here with Yunkle. he had been trying to surpass his limits and so he, he was more it's like the blades more sharp mm -hmm. it's it's a sharper blade and Baron was just so focused like I, maybe in the old days he might have realized they were there and then like did like you said take that step and then go up and yeah. attack but unfortunately they didn't this time and man that still it makes me mad anytime someone interferes with something it's like when you're playing a game and then like, like come someone, on son it's like someone else cheats like I want to know who would have won that or yeah. I want to know what would have happened but yeah that was unfortunate that happened but they were talking about before that how they wanted Baron to join his team, mm -hmm. and he got mad. He was like, "Who do you think I am? I'm still the Dragon King. <laughs> I'm still the Dragon or Dragon, Dragon Knight. Knight." But then they found out he was doing it for Dai, mm -hmm. which was interesting. I did not, I did not know he changed that much yet. I knew he changed, but I didn't know he changed that much. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I know where this is headed. Um, yeah, it seems like there's only one place. Yeah, and. I think we we kind of guessed this a while back. Yeah. Because that's like the only way it would have made sense for him to be able to make up being a father, kind of sacrificing his life for die. And so maybe when they show up to the gate, well no, Baron said at the end he's gonna go too. Mm -hmm. So if they both go, maybe he'll take something, a blow, and then and then like we said, I mean, it could be one of those Goku things. Like maybe he's going to be like, hey Gohan, <sighs> hey die, you go up there, you take this, you can do it. Yeah, and do so, it. Yeah. He's, I mean, Dai's a little more grown up than Gohan was. Gohan was kind of like, ah, yeah. yeah, so, well, not exactly. I don't want to do it! Yeah. And I won't watch this anymore! So looking at how we've seen now him in this episode cry, you saw um, the queen, she's over there like willing to cheat and, and not be honorable. And him's like, nah, you gotta be honorable. And then you've even seen Block sacrifice himself, and you've seen other ones, they have, it seems like different characteristics. It reminds me of the, the kind of monsters that the Dark Lord got underneath him. Like, he, they all have a specific set of skills, and they were all kind of the same, but all of them were stronger in one area. And so that's what these remind me of. They're all the same, from made from the same person, but one of them is more honorable. One of them is more deceptive. Right. One of them is more... They have different qualities of Hadley. Yeah, yeah. Does that make sense? And like, he's like the peak, yeah. kind of like how he was originally, and maybe he created them that way. Right. Okay. Like different personalities, each one. It's, you... it's weird, because they have like, they have that hum humanistic, mm -hmm. like, type of, uh, like, mindset. Like, like you said, him was crying, you know, block got in the way to save them. You know, it's, it's interesting. Like, makes me think, maybe, there's something to that. Maybe there's like, I don't know. Like, even Hadler thought that was weird. Yeah. Maybe there's like low key something that Hadler, like, is emotional about, but he doesn't really let it out. And he's kind of coming out in the pieces, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. That, that was, so, it, maybe it's kind of a flashback to, I don't exactly remember how he Uncle's dad was created. He did. Did Hadler create um, Hyunkle's dad? And so when Hadler died... Yes. Okay, so. well, like we saw with Hyunkle's dad, the, the skeleton, he had even had his own emotions and was taking care of a child. Yeah. So maybe that's another kind of, like, foreshadowing what these guys were going to be. They all had different... Um, I guess you'd call them qualities from Hadler. Mm -hmm. And his the one that was strongest with him was maybe a more caring. Yeah. And so maybe that's what we see with him. And who knows what we'll see with the other ones. Yeah. But do you think that's ever going to be a negative thing in the fight. Um, well, they did talk about in the previous episode how there was like this type of uh, teamwork on their team, mm -hmm. like evil teamwork. It's just, like, again, it's like a, it's weird to say that, but they have their own type of teamwork where they sacrifice, willing to sacrifice yourself. So that might end up being a problem because they can strategize on top of that. Mm -hmm. Um, if they line everyone up properly, yeah, that can definitely. And I'm not sure 
they can increase like in their uh, abilities or intellect and so like you know maybe gain new power-ups new uh, moves new whatever to you know bring down their opponent maybe that could happen mm -hmm. I don't know it possibilities seem endless but I mean there's got to be something to that though because like it's you know it's in there you yeah. know it's in there for a reason um, yeah so it's, it's it's a lot that can happen one thing that this reminds me of is I watched one piece and I'm I'm watching a lot of reviews and reactions about the ch current chapters that are, that are out but something you always hear is how in the pre time skip post time skip the post time skip skip arcs kind of mirror what happened in the pre time skip arcs so I'm wondering if this arc along with the art the cell arc if they kind of mirror each other in Akira Toriyama's mind and so maybe we'll see one of these guys absorbing the other ones oh yeah maybe that's too much maybe that's maybe it's just the father-son relationship you know what okay but obviously Goku's a better father than someone he did say that so technically Dragon Quest came out before Dragon Ball okay yeah maybe someone took that idea and ran with it and it came that in the cell in, in Dragon Ball Z in the cell arc mm. just like the, the whole concept uh, maybe I don't know it could yeah it could in a different way to flesh it out and I'm just wondering because you know writers sometimes like to use the same uh, same way to tell a story mm -hmm. um, just to make it easier for them and so I'm just curious to if we'll see something similar to that or maybe not maybe this is the only kind of similar thing to where we're seeing Bear and kind of help. Yeah. Die in the fight. But, but it would be still, cool. it would though, be cool to see some that's interesting that he does that, though. Yeah. It's like the same. I did not know they had like a father son thing. Dang, that's crazy. That is crazy. Dude, I am I am so down to see that. <laughs> that's going to be sick. But probably emotional, too. Hey. Oh, yeah. And Devin will cry. No, nah, I probably. I... You almost cried last week. Remember that? No. You I said it. Know. Yeah! Yes! I wasn't expecting him Dude, to I was not expecting Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I almost teared up right there. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Bro. I'm you not, said it. I'm not saying anything. After Baron rescued Hyunko and Crocodile from Albina's attack, we see Baron talk to Crocodile about how he saved Hyunko and he, he kind of had a, like some sense of like regret a little bit of how like he can repay him back. Mm -hmm. um, because he says that Hyunko lost his power after that. Yeah. I'm wondering what kind of is it because is it because of that attack he did that he sacrificed all his power for it? I thought it was just the sword, right? He said I sacrificed. I think he said when Avon did it, he sacrificed the use of his sword or something. Well, you have to put down the weapon in order to be able to use it. But it's kind of, I think it's kind of like... I thought he was... You take on the full brunt of the attack, because then that person, the stronger their attack, the weaker they get. So then you use your strongest attack, but then, in reality, you become weaker. So if they were able to counter it, then that attack would kill you. So that's kind of what we saw. She didn't have to counter because Baron was right there afterwards. And so, depending on what his attack is, if his attack is to like wipe out any type of magic you can use, maybe that's what he's yeah. saying. Or maybe he broke the spear and I just didn't see, see that. Mm -hmm. but, well, no, he sells a suit on. Yeah. Wouldn't that have gone away? Yeah, exactly, right. But we didn't see the spear there. Yeah. Or I didn't see the spear there. Well, you know what? Maybe because I was thinking maybe Baron put the blood in him. The blood. <laughs> you always say the blood. But I don't know. He Maybe because, and maybe there's something to that if he did. Yeah. Um, I know it has the power to bring life because he did it to Pope. Mm. Maybe he has the power to give you back your abilities or something. Because well, we don't know because it panned off, but it seemed like I don't know. To me, when it panned to the next scene, mm -hmm. when it showed Dyna Gang and then him showing up with yeah. Crocodile and Gyunkle, it seemed like he. I don't know. It just to me, I got the vibe that. It was no big deal. Well, I mean, it was like, you know, well, it, yeah. Well, it's probably because his life is just saved. Yeah. So losing your magic that sucks, and for us, it sucks more probably for that for Baron. But maybe Leona might know the spell. I'm thinking, man. Man. She's the one. Remember when they said her punch goes down on the particle level? What if she can use that for more than just punches? She can, and like literally heal someone down to the particle level. 
could he, she do that by punching? Him? Well, I'm thinking, well, because she can send the energy there, but she's only, we've only seen her use it for punching. What if she can use it for healing? She can also heal. That's true. And or what, maybe his her master knows something too. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. I see what you're saying. See, something about this kind of reminded me of Naruto after he used the the yeah. wind the wind shuriken one. But when he actually used it against the Akatsuki member, it literally was like pins and needles going throughout and cutting all the chakra network. And it, it could have damaged Naruto permanently. But I'm thinking it's like the reverse of that where we saw his attack like cut up to like the smallest, minutest little little uh, chakra networks, but with this, what I'm thinking, what Mam can do is maybe heal it somehow at the mm. smallest, minutest. Maybe she, did, maybe her training helped with that. Maybe that's what it was. Because I was wondering, what actually did she? And now she said she did learn. not want Dai to kill her his dad because she doesn't believe in killing. She doesn't want to, she doesn't she doesn't want that to happen. Right. And so I think that's I think that's like the. The, the top tier of what you can learn from the masters probably goes from fighting this to control to healing. Because yeah. in one thing, like martial arts is really about control right. and technique and um, self control, I guess. Right. Discipline, no. discipline that's one thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah, because you gotta you gotta know how you can't just attack wildly. You gotta know how to attack, you know. Um, but I'm wondering if Baron is gonna teach him something that would be so dope like he i mean he, he has to right because yeah. maybe he can teach him about the whole drop of blood thing mm -hmm. maybe he can teach him about maybe getting that new form that super saiyan 4 looking form uh to draw the sword maybe yeah or something yeah that too that oh especially that he needs to learn that yeah that's like number one um and just like other stuff maybe he can learn how to do the metal or you saw it right you saw him do that, right? That's he did do that. So yeah. maybe, maybe he, maybe he's gonna learn that. Oh, that'd be clean, that you know? and powering it up with the crest. Oh, that's gonna be clean. That'd be really good. That'd be dope, bro. And they said when you use the crest, you can learn other moves easier. Yeah, or it's easier to learn with the move. Yeah, yeah. It's just like elementary, man. Elementary. So man, I'm dude. Excited. It's too much. Oh, dude, too much. I'm looking forward to. And Ben, I say you owe him the explanation. That story, you need to tell him about his mama. You need to tell him, he, know, he deserves to know. So he, like, at least he can understand you better. Like, I don't, I don't think, no, now that he's there, mm -hmm. I mean, I, obviously everyone's shocked, but I think that he at least needs to know. Uh, I, I think Dai knows, probably he's not gonna hurt him, but he still needs to know, like, what happened uh, so that he can kind of relate. Because everybody knows, I believe, except for Pope, Ma'am, and Die, that he's not necessarily a bad guy anymore. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's that's what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> so much, man. This one was like, this is this is what this is like what I needed, y'all. This is what I need. This episode, the whole everything, bro. It was okay. good. It was All good. Right. I hear you. Thank y'all for watching and supporting our channel. Don't forget to check out our social media accounts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think about this episode reaction and review. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Rumble. You can also follow our friends on YouTube as well. Jay Frizzle, Clammy and Blocks and for Gaming, Rich Aladdin for short films, or Tech Zoe for sermons, and Thought You Should Know podcast that discusses all things mental health. With that said, I'm Devin. I'm Noah. And we'll see y'all next time. <laughs>